Hello and welcome to Insights on June the 9th, 2022. Tom, I don't even want to say it. The R word. Oh, then don't say it. Recession. <laughs> Are we heading into a recession? And, and is this a repeat, do you think, of the mid-70s and the early 80s? I don't think so. I, I know the media is peddling that type of talk these days, but it's a long way from the buoyant period we've had in the last year or so to a cooling out of the economy to a recession. I think we're in the middle ground where things are calming down. A lot of the inflated values are coming out of the system, particularly in the high tech stocks, wild values in many of these. So we're coming back to earth a little bit, but there's a big distance between that and going into a full blown recession. I don't think we are. There's a lot of money in the system. Consumer has a lot of money. Interest rate increases are moderate. Um, I don't think we're going to see, in fact, once we get rid of some of this turmoil in the world, uh, you're going to see a lot of rebuilding and investment going on. So uh, I don't think we are. That's, that's my answer. So what did the stock markets look like during the last recessions? Um, it was pretty abysmal. If you go back to, say, uh, 74, uh, it was a long, dry spell for equities. Similarly, in the shock of 87, uh, markets went down very dramatically. One of the things markets do is they adjust to, to the future very quickly. And it's boom, it's done, it's adjusted, and it's in the system. I, I, I put a lot uh, of stock in market sentiment. That is, what, what's the feeling in the market? Now remember, bull markets, that was they're going up, they, they ignore bad news. We've come through one of those periods. Bear markets, when the market's going up, it ignore, they ignore good news. Now right now, there's no good news. There's nothing but bad news, it seems, out there. And therein lies the opportunity, because there will be a surprise coming. I don't know what that surprise is, but my, my thought is that surprise could be on the upside. I mean, one example might be Mr. Putin wakes up dead tomorrow morning. Uh, the market will just, boom, it'll be on wheels as you rebuild the Ukraine and rebuild investment around the world. So I don't know what the surprise is going to be, but my guess is it's all bad news now, and the surprise will be something changing direction because the market's muted in handling this bad news. But if you see something positive, I think the reaction will be quite dramatic. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. Bye for now.